I'd like to send this back to committee as well. You know, I heard yesterday from people from Onagami County, which isn't my own, with their concerns about the difficulties local government is going to have with this map. This map is really unique for me. A large part of my district is gone, and I move into Bellevue and Le uh, Ledgeview and other areas. And uniquely, again accidentally I'm sure, there's a 500 foot loop that takes Nancy Nussbaum and puts her in the 30th district. And she just happens to be part of this recall effort. <laughs> The Gannett paper, the Green Bay Press Gazette, in an editorial, and I've always, not always quoted them, first of all, they say, no matter where the boundary lines are drawn on Wisconsin's proposed redistricting map, state lawmakers need to ensure all of the stakeholders, all of the stakeholders, have reasonable time to review them. I know the Republicans have been looking at this for weeks. It was kind of indicated to us going back uh, several weeks ago in Senate Ork. They had access to these maps. We certainly didn't. The next quote from the same article, the same editorial. The Republican legislative leaders also did not consult local governments whose staff members have been working on their plans for months. Now counties and local municipalities must scramble, scramble to adapt their maps to the state's proposal. It's supposed to be the other way around. Things have been turned around. And what I feel is what's happened here the other side has resorted to what I consider partisan gerrymandering in an attempt to be in power for the next 10 years. That's not what redistricting is all about. It is to establish many, as many 50-50 districts as you can, not 60-40, 70-30, so that people really participate in their government. And the last statement from them is, the Wisconsin legislature needs to ease its pace and give all interested parties a chance to review the maps and discuss whether these new lines are the right configurations for everyone involved. This redistricting bill is not about election protection. It is about fairness and balance for all. And hopefully by sending it back, we can make this redistricting map work for everybody in this state, not just for a select few. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I think the bill should be referred back to committee. Uh, I was one with Senator Erpenbach and others who sat for seven and a half hours uh, listening to the uh, discussion on this bill, the one hearing on it. And uh, I can tell you that the majority of the people that appeared at that hearing uh, opposed the map. The majority of the people who appeared at the hearing said that uh, that they hadn't really had an opportunity to check it out. The map wasn't made available until Monday, and the hearing was Tuesday. And a lot of these people didn't know about the hearing until Monday. The map might be legal, but it's not fair. And I think that is the key right here. We had professors talk about the map, and they said, well, it's uh, proportionately representative, and so forth and so on. And we had others talk about it and said that it wasn't. I don't know whether it's uh, legal or not. I suppose that's for the court to decide. But it's for us to decide what is fair. It's for us to decide what is right. Not what is legal, but what is right. And what is right is to permit the public to participate. Now, we had no citizen input on this at all. The minority party wasn't uh, represented at all. You know, the, the senator from the 13th talked with pride about how we have computers and anyone can push a couple of buttons and come up with a map. If that's so, why did they spend $350,000 to hire one of the most expensive law firms in the state to draw it? We're supposed to draw it. Our staff is supposed to help us out on it. We've got the department uh, uh, here uh, on uh, computers that can help on it. Why, why the $350,000 to a private law firm to make this map? I can't understand it. If it's so sophisticated, so easy to draw these maps, if we, all we have to do is do it to, and, and present it, why did we hire the most expensive law firm in the state to draw this map? That hasn't been answered. I, uh, I submit that there's a reason, because the Republican Party started acting on to the victor belongs the spoiled, I guess that's what they used to say. 
And uh, to be sure that they got the spoils, they hired the most expensive law firm, in, or one of the most expensive law firms in the state, to uh, help them get the spoils, to help them uh, come up. This map is just not fair. It did not let public participate in it, did not let the minority party participate. You know, we're, we're supposed to be in the Senate here. We, we like, to, like to participate in these actions. We didn't have anything to do with these maps. Not because we didn't want to, because we were frozen out. That is just isn't fair. We all know that the, the map is very disputable. It, it, it cuts up the competitive districts. Uh, and, uh, it's a Republican incumbent protection plan in most respects. Uh, it, it just is not fair. So what can we do? We can just send it back to committee. I'm ready to spend another seven and a half hours of the hearing. If, uh, we could come up with some uh, good, uh, good discussion and uh, have some people that have had a chance to review things. Another thing, uh, we had at the hearing many, many people from Republican areas as well as Democratic areas saying, you know, we've worked on this program for six months. We tried to follow the law. We've, we've had meetings. We've, we've spent money. On it. We've spent time on it. And we're just about done. So some areas don't think we decided to wipe that all off. There's an amendment to try to help that. But no, it, doesn't, it doesn't, you know, you that amendment for us or do we have to, <coughs> later on to say, well, we're going to pay yeah. some attention to what I mean, has been done. If you're going to buy my first amendment, right, you might as well do the fourth amendment as well. It has already been spent on this. Are you going to remove President, yourself or do this, we have this to should go back to committee. Uh, well, and, if I remove uh, myself, you don't buy my fourth amendment rights as well. The Judiciary Committee, which heard it, is ready to spend some more time on it. Or do we have to remove it? I, I, I've been through five reinforcements. Senator from uh, no, uh, Jay Zell here has been through four, I guess. Been and I can tell you that uh, not Lincoln, no reinforcement has had so less up, minority. It wouldn't you know, be because then you don't buy the Fourth Amendment rights as well. Majority, and if you're going to violate my First Amendment, you're going to violate my First Amendment. 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 You're
That was round one. Then the DA says, no, that's not constitutional. You guys are going to get slapped with a lawsuit. And then you get upset. And so now you're going for round two. Instead of learning from your mistakes, you're going for round two and removing me for a camera and playing these pussyfoot games where you don't issue a citation or anything, but you still illegally seize me trying to get me to go. No, that's not acceptable. It's not going to work. Until, until the, the Senate is told otherwise by the district attorney that they cannot enforce it. Yeah, that takes a month the and Senate, a half. It'll be too late. The Senate, the It'll Senate, be too late. The, the Senate rules it takes a month and a half. It'll be too late. The are still at the standing rules. It, yeah, well, they're not constitutional, and I'm going to prove that. I'm going to prove that that's fine. because that's these fine. officers are going to end up giving me a citation for this, and then I have something to fall back on and fight it with. Well, if, if, if a law... As far as I know, if law is not broken, then it's like, well, this, this is not law, right? Uh, this is this is this is actually um, th I believe this is actually well maybe not maybe it isn't a law. It's an, it's an, okay, so if it's not a law, then how is it enforceable by police officers? Because this is the same. That makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. That a uh, police officer can pick me up and remove me. Yeah, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. <coughs> Okay, going. Good. He was, he was videotaping. Okay. He was asked multiple, multiple times to quit videotaping. Yeah, I was. I'm not going to lie. Okay. The Senate staff said okay. that he had to leave. We right. walked over to him. I told him that he could put it away. He still didn't put it away. We had to physically remove him. He didn't leave. We physically removed him. Okay. And then once out in the hallway, now he doesn't want to leave. No, I'm not going to play these pussyfoot games where you remove me and then it, you're, you find it okay to carry me, but you don't even issue a citation. Then I have nothing to fall back on, nothing to fight it with. So if you want to issue me a citation, then go ahead. And then I'll leave and we'll be on our way. If you don't, then I have nothing to fight this with. Who can we issue a citation, Glenn? Well, how do I know when I get out the door you're actually going to do it? We're going down to our PD. We're going down to the PD? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be back. You got her? Yeah. Yeah. See how easy that was? Learn your lesson. We don't issue Shut up. Issue capital warnings. Yeah, well, you should have called them from the beginning. You should have had a capital police officer there when you started removing me. Okay. When you started lifting me. Oh, we're going to need to go to the north. We're going to need to go to the north wing. Go down to the basement cell. No, we can't because they have stairs. No, you can go down to the basement, South Jeremy, go right across the rotunda. Trust me, I've been here 32 uh -huh. years. The basement? I thought the basement you had to go through stairs in order to get no. anywhere to the... No, this uh, is... Go down to the south and cut right across. Yeah, through stairs. No. You have to go downstairs to cut across. Mm -hmm. No? Nope. No. Okay. How do we get past that? We'll get around. Okay. I told you. you can't take that up no, I told you. I, I told know, you this from the beginning. I think. I thought. I thought. I should go upstairs with that. Well, I can, but today is not a very good day for my heart right now, so I can't go up those stairs. And I told you that from the beginning. No, let's right. not pussyfoot around. Okay, let's just go. Let's three. just go to the north. Let's, go let's just go to the north. Let's okay, not pussyfoot are. around. I told you from the beginning, and you wasted my time by bringing me down here in the you're first right. place. No, I'm not wasting your time. This is a camera. Yeah, I know. You can't win a fair election. You have to cheat. Your parents should be ashamed. You have to cheat. Guns in the Capitol, Galloway? Your mother should be ashamed. Shame. 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 You dirty old hag. Your parents should be ashamed. Did you get my sheep, Mary? Did you get my sheep? That's uh, Senator Lacey. Um, you can't win election fairly. Enjoy your recall. See you all. Hey Luther, you think your mother would be proud of you cheating? Gerrymandering the maps to cheat? You think she'd be proud, Luther? Wine guard. Your, your mother should be ashamed of yourself for cheating.
Don't push me, Weingarten. What, you're afraid to own up to your actions? You're afraid to own up to your own votes?